The National Academy is something quite its own. It's one of a kind, certainly in this country, and, and one of only a few that I know of internationally that, that provides such a performance-focused uh, time for its students here. Most of our students are postgraduate, so they have done a, a degree of some kind and, and are at a stage in their lives and their development as musicians where they really want to focus on their instrument and performance practice. At the top of the agenda is a deep love for music. I'd like to think that we can you know, make a very stimulating environment here where all sorts of things might be possible. NM aspires to an international standard that um, is unequivocal. There's, there is no question that the standard that is here is the highest that's available in this country. It's different from all the other organisations that, that provide music training in the country because we're not formally structured. We only provide performance training, we don't give formal degrees. The, the, the young musicians come here and work on their instrument as performers and move on after an appropriate period of time. It's not even a fixed term that they spend here. The school as a whole, it is the most fantastic community of people who are so focused on what they're doing. What we strive to do here at Anime, like anywhere that's very serious about music, I suppose at the end of the day, we strive to live the life of music, to live the excitement and the fervour and the passion and the intelligence of music. I come from the Gold Coast in Queensland. That's where I studied at the Conservatorium of Music in Queensland. I did a Bachelor of Music up there. And I've been down here now for three years at the Academy. Personally, I just love the fact that I'm here with pretty much the best, um, you know, students, young professional, you know, instrumentalists. The Academy allows us to pursue our own passion into our own genre of music to fit where we fit into music in the world in Australia. You have the time and support to really develop your playing. We've got some wonderful people working here. It, it's, it's, they're wonderful from the point of, of, of a number, from a number of points of view. They're wonderful from a, they just general skills base as musicians, but, but they've all, got that, far more importantly, got that ability to enthuse and inspire. Well, one word that's often been used in describing the atmosphere here is a hothouse, that, that it, it's one building full of, you know, amazing playing going on. And I think that that environment can help students lift their game. You know, there's nothing more inspiring than sort of seeing all these other students around you working hard. Musicians don't walk around the corridors of the academy with smiles on their faces because they've just won a lotto. It's because they're having a good time. And they're having a good time because they've got artists here who are dedicated to their advancement. And it's, it's joyous, it's genuinely great to see. Loving this year more, especially this year. It's been amazing just because we've had Howard Penny here as a teacher. And even just you know, after our technical exam, had a review, three great cellists in the room, just seven students talking it through with us afterwards. And uh, it's really fantastic to have that. What we can do well is provide a place to consider what their role in music might be, where they want to go in the next stage of their, their musical lives. You know the thing again, but think about finding a kind of a decoration between the first note and the second note. With so visiting going, artists coming of the highest standard internationally, that there is an integrity, that there, it isn't about small empires in small cities, 
but one of music being more important than the, than the performer. That we are all collectively together aiming at something that is very, very high standard, very pure and very genuine. I was fascinated by coming to Anand though because it's a very unusual institution uh, in the world of further musical educational institutions because it has no curriculum as such and no exam system and, uh, and I think this can be of, of real benefit because people are able to in a sense create their own curriculum, they're able to do what they feel they need to do. I've found a great deal of motivation here, I've found students who really want to work, who really want to get better. And I found a very inspiring teaching staff also, and, and a wonderfully open sense, an open mind, which seems to run through the whole place. South Melbourne's great. There's a definite cafe scene where you can, we all generally, at least once a week, would go out to lunch at a cafe somewhere, and that, that tends to be something really positive to catch up and build the bond between the Annan community. The building is sympathetic to uh, artistic thought. It's beautiful, it's uh, of another time. Uh, there's a sense of certain magnificence. Uh, and, and this has its own inspiration. In a sense, when we choose students who are um, auditioning, that's one of the things we think about is whether or not they will cooperate with other students, whether they will be generous of nature to everyone else, because they will get more out of it if they're capable of doing that. Know why you're coming to NM. I think with such a flexible curriculum and such a lot of challenges, you really need to be ready to be able to say, here's where I want to be and here's what I want to do, so can you please help me to get here? I'm very lucky with uh, being with students who are very, very dedicated, very serious, very dedicated, in love with music as much as I am. The Academy's got an international perspective in that we're teaching the musicians who want to be performers at an international or national career level, who are aspiring to that sort of career. So quite a number of our musicians end up working overseas, but we also bring in as visiting artists and faculty from leading institutions in Europe and the UK and, and, and the US. Just, just all the performance opportunities. There are a lot of uh, concerts throughout the week, night concerts as well as Friday lunchtime concerts, so we have the opportunity to uh, perform a lot. We don't have that many contact hours. We only have a few classes, like performance forum, and also there's um, a seminar uh, called Fridays at Three, where we have just people coming, guest speakers. I've been um, awarded a scholarship to go overseas, and I was supposed to go this year, but I like it here, so, and I like my teacher here. The satisfying part is, is seeing young musicians develop into beautiful players and, and can walk onto a stage with confidence. If you're thinking of auditioning uh, for an -Am, and if you think that you're at a level where um, you think you can just commit 110% um, to your work, I wouldn't hesitate to audition at all because um, there, there are so many benefits of the place and uh, I just think it's a really good, supportive environment. The welcome discovery for me, uh, coming here um, and, and experiencing the Anam experience, helping to develop it as well, but uh, experiencing it, was actually um, finding out that, uh, that um, it's helped me grow and develop every bit as much as I hope I'm helping the students here develop and grow. I, I suppose the, the, the strength for the students is having this um, focused attention from uh, such good staff and rubbing shoulders with each other. In addition to that, they hear the most phenomenal performances. They've shown a level of commitment and standard before they arrive, um, but it's, it still shows they're, they're all charged and committed. There's a huge level of commitment. You have to be completely uncompromisingly striving for excellence.